Hi everyone, I'm Susan Jacob and in this video I'm going to show you a case of a subluxated lens in a young boy which left his pupillary zone largely aphakic and he needed an aphakic correction for improving his visual acuity. We decided to go ahead and remove the subluxated lens and fix a glued intraocular lens. So uh, what I'm doing first is measuring the white to white diameter to make sure that I would have enough haptic exteriorized to give me a stable intraocular lens. Uh, since I have verified that I can go ahead for a horizontal glued intraocular lens, I have uh, created flaps that are centered exactly opposite each other. And once these flaps are created, I insert a trocar anterior chamber maintainer. So as you can see, I shifted the conjunctiva and then go uh, through the sclera, creating a tunnel obliquely and then turn perpendicularly into the limbus and enter with the TACM. Once I've done that, I make 23 gauge sclerotomies under both the scleral flaps and do an anterior vitrectomy through these sclerotomies. Now it would be ideal for me to have a scaffold or a support under the subluxated lens while I'm removing it. So what I'm doing is I am preponing the implantation of my glued intraocular lens before removing the subluxated lens. So I have exteriorized the first haptic out and I use the handshake technique and exteriorize the second haptic out as well. As of now my uh, intraocular lens is behind the subluxated lens. I have made the 26 gauge chariot tunnels and I have tucked the first haptic in but to my dismay I realize that the second second haptic has actually slipped back into the vitreous cavity. Now if this situation does happen, remember that it's uh, relatively easy to handle. What you need to do is grab the haptic that you have on the outside of the eye and use it to maneuver the intraocular lens in such a way that you can now visualize the second haptic within the vitreous cavity. You then go in and grasp it with a, an MST forceps and exteriorize the second haptic out as well. I now tuck in both the haptics into the 26 gauge chariot tunnels and once this is done I have my glued intraocular lens acting as a scaffold behind the crystalline lens. Now I go ahead and bring the crystalline lens out uh, using an anterior levitation technique and you can see that it's lying completely over the intraocular lens now. Now this can be performed atraumatically and with relative ease since the few zonules that are left behind are also affected by the progressive zonulopathy. Lensectomy is then done with the vitrectomy probe. I then inject IVTA into the anterior chamber to check for any vitreous within the anterior chamber and once it is confirmed that this is not the case, you can go ahead and seal the flap and the conjunctiva with fibrin glue. Stromal hydration is then done and basically that is the end of the case. I do hope this video was useful. Thank you so much for watching.